gotcha! Welcome to a new vlog. It's our last day here at Nias. We have got four bikes today. We're going on a little trip. Google says it's a waterfall around eight kilometers from here. So that's, that's the goal, to find the waterfall. Hopefully there's some water in it. So we're getting ready now and jump on the bikes. So we're now in the middle of the jungle of Nias. There was a local kid down in the village down here. He Friendly! Wanted to follow us up and show us where the waterfall is. Looking at the map, I'm not sure if we are at the same waterfall that we have found on Google, but it would be interesting to see. And here we have the waterfall! Yeah, in, on here. Oh, do. Oh. There is no water because there has not been any rain. This waterfall could be very cool if it's water. <laughs> Looks big. But if there's some sound or some water up here. We have some waterfall-ish over here. Continuing up behind this waterfall. Maybe we could find something more up here. It's not a waterfall. That was really refreshing, cold, nice water. Have to change the clothes and get back on the bike and home to. Back from a little hike in the forest, found some cocoa beans, chocolate. For you that haven't seen this before, this is the chocolate bean. I will chop up one for you so you can see how it is. Okay, so here we are inside the cocoa bean. You have this. This is the cocoa fruit. You can actually eat this one, it's quite good. You can chew on it. It tastes very sweet, it's very good, but the, the chocolate, the cocoa, that's in the bean inside this little fruit. So after you chew everything away, eat it, you find the cocoa hidden inside the bean. So it's a fruit, you can eat it, it's very good, but also one of the best things we have in the world, the chocolate. <laughs> As mentioned, it's our last day here and I don't know about you, but for me, I often pack a lot of things that I don't use and that's a little bit annoying and this time it also happened. I haven't used the floating ring, haven't used the slack line, haven't used the diving snorkel mask but we're about to do something about it because now I'm doing all these three things in the next hour to just, okay, it wasn't waste packing it, using the kilos in my back for this. This was a little bit taller than I planned. Okay. I have got to use all the equipment, that's good. I'm going to show you the atmosphere on the beach right now. Bye! 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 Hello, Tato Lagi? Yeah. Banya Quota, yeah? Yeah. Are you in Indonesia? I think I'm in Indonesia. Oh, thank you. Selfie. Selfie, yeah. Selfie, more selfie, yeah, Visa. Okay. This is my situation when I'm taking selfie with Indonesian people. Hey! 
Hey! So that was a little selfie session down at the beach and it's not too like here am I the white guy taking pictures who wants to take picture with me but the truth is this almost every day it's like this people want to take pictures just because I'm white and I don't understand it to be honest because there's no there's nothing special hello but it's nice to take pictures but why is it so interesting to take picture with hello with a guy that has white skin if you know the answer to that please let me know i don't want to make any misunderstandings or anything i do like to take photos at least 95 percent of the time it's not always the time to ask for a selfie but i will understand the photo if you knew me or if i was a celebrity so therefore i don't understand why so many people want a photo with a total stranger that's that's it <laughs> Okay, so we're ending this vlog on the same way that we started it. Riding motorbike on the beach. So thank you for watching today's episode and I'll see you on the next vlog.